like and I knew that I would never pursue this other dream of mine like if I stayed comfortable in my job. Hi, we're Ted and Jenna. Welcome to the Life in Pines. We are excited to share a bit of our backstory and bring you up to speed on how this channel started, how it's progressed to today, and what our future plans are. We wanted to extend a huge thank you for subscribing and following along. You are a big blessing to us and the future of this channel. All right, welcome to the Kids Treehouse. Like this is where, what was it, eight years ago? 2014. We had some leftover lumber from a deck project that we had and said, you know what? Let's make this tree house. And ever since we built this tree house, we've wanted one for ourselves. We like wanted we to wanted an adult, adult tree, tree house. house. So that's where this whole idea began. Yep. And the whole idea of even doing a YouTube channel. Yep. I was a realtor back in the day and I was in mortgage lending for the past three years. And so I've always just taken an interest in real estate and real estate investing and yeah if jenna had her way all of the retirement accounts that we have 401ks all that stuff would be non-existent and everything would be invested in real estate i mean Which the whole tree house our original plan and what we started out this channel wanting to do that's where this whole idea started and we've always been interested in doing like wanting to do unique Airbnbs and that idea all started from our 10 year anniversary. Yeah, Jenna surprised me with a trip. Uh, we went to uh, yeah, Niagara Falls and we actually got to stay on like a what would you call on it? On a yacht. On a yacht. So, and it was an Airbnb and it was like, wow, like the potential of the things that you can rent out that, you know, we rented it out. Yeah, I had no idea. I just clicked on unique rentals and all of a sudden it was like there's a boat and it was beautiful and it was just the most charming and amazing experience and our host was amazing. And so I was like, I, I feel like we could do this. And so ever since then, I've just thought, oh my gosh, we need to do something like this. And so that's that's kind of where this all started. But of course, then I started working for the bank and I got really comfortable doing that. So I just, that all just kind of went to the back burner. I just kind of set it aside thinking, okay, well maybe, you know, I'll save up some money and maybe do it in the future when the kids are graduated or something. But, um, yeah. And I'm very comfortable with my job. I've got a, a full-time job on top of all the stuff that we do, um, at a local hospital. So we're busy with that. And then, you know, but after working full time, it was like time just went so fast. Our kids are growing up so fast. It was like the blink of an eye. And all of a sudden we have a teenager and it's like, where did the time go? Where did the time go? Like, I feel like time is slipping away. I'm just like, you know what? It's now or never. Like, and I knew that I would never pursue this other dream of mine. Like if I stayed comfortable in my job. So it was a super hard decision to leave because it was a very good job and I worked for a great family, but I just knew I'll, I'll never do it if I'm comfortable here. And so I had to make the hard decision to leave and just jump into this full bore. Full bore. And we did. We head first, we were gonna build the tree house and it was hurdle after hurdle, after red tape, after everything. And we've dealt with a lot we took to the point where we thought the tree house was dead. It was like, what are we going to do now? Like we were gung ho on that. And that's, I mean, it was a day, like a days later, um, this house came on the market and I don't know, we just like jumped on it and we were able to get it. And so that's, that's where you are. I mean, now you're, now you're caught up to where we are now. Like we thought the tree house was a dead deal. We went a different direction. Like, I mean, I've, we've been praying about this for like years, mm -hmm. honestly. And um, we love, we love to entertain and like hospitality is like one of our gifts. We feel like we have a it's beautiful, what fills our cup yeah, up. we have like, a beautiful property here that, you know, we share with others. And I mean, ever since me leaving my job, it's just been, it's roll with the punches. I mean, 
things have changed so much and it's been really difficult, especially because I'm like, did I make the right decision? And it's just been an emotional roller coaster of like, did I do the right thing? But I just, I know this is in the Lord's plan for us because we have been so blessed in so many ways and so many things have worked out that I never thought would. And, you know, my time is just worth more than the money. Like, I'm so happy and I'm so full of joy, even like in the scary times that like we're doing the right thing. And this is this is like our ministry now and we get to share this with other people and and so that's i'm just excited about it yeah so our goal is to finish the house as fast as we can after that's up up and running then continue on with the off-grid tree house is our goal yes that's the future plan and then like long-term future i would love to just have a fleet of unique airbnbs <laughs> would love to have a shipping container house, an earth home, a tiny house on wheels, and to be able to involve our kids and have them be a part of that and just building that with them yeah. and showing them and teaching them and working with them. Learning how to use a screw gun, cut wood, measure, do the math, like all that stuff is like so important. Like we've, we've renovated two houses and the only reason we were able to afford it is because we were able to do it ourselves. We did all the work ourselves. And we want our kids to be able to DIY their own stuff and have that confidence, whether it comes from just watching a YouTube video and then being able to do it. Like, that's how we, if we don't know how to do it, we, we YouTube it. <laughs> and there's some things that obviously you can't do. The electrical, like we failed the inspection, but... But we're still learning and we're growing and yeah. we're, you know, not letting these challenges hold us back. And so we just, we feel really good. And I, I just want the kids to be able to be involved and do life with us and be part of like our jobs. And I think like what better way to marry together our love for like renovating and remodeling and then also hospitality is like building or in our this case right here like renovating this old old house and then renting it out i mean it just it just made so much sense and then you know but our life is just so cool i feel like on top of all of that i mean we love to hunt and fish and be outside garden and beekeeping beekeeping mm -hmm. and yeah we love our animals and we love just like going ex and exploring and so I just think that we live in a really cool place and we do a lot of really cool things and if we can share that with other people and like maybe they think it's cool then awesome but ultimately like this channel is kind of more even just for us. For us. It's for, to document the kids growing up and just I mean we look at old videos and we wish like man we wish we would have started this sooner. Mm -hmm. The goal is just to have, have fun. fun. Yeah. And we are, we are having fun. Obviously there's stressful moments, it's life. Like life isn't easy. I mean, this is brand new to us, this whole, whole thing. But I feel like we're doing, we're getting the hang of it. We're, we're getting, getting it. the hang of it. And yeah, I think life is just too short and we just want to be present, be in the moment. And if you want to come along and hang out with us during that, we'd love to have you. And what's your favorite saying that you always say? Uh, we don't have everything money can buy but we have, we have everything, everything that it can't. can't and that that it means so much more to me yeah. than our kids anything. are healthy we have a great relationship we love jesus jesus and what more can you ask what more can you ask for i mean we've been so blessed yeah anything else i usually don't have this long of a beard but i might grow it out until the house is finished i mean that's what he did when we did our kitchen. Grew it until we were finished and he was a mountain man by the time we were done, but. It's mo motivation to get it done. I like it. Oh, it wasn't even recording. If it wasn't, I'll die. Oh my gosh. Yes, it was. Was it? <laughs> <laughs>